You're so late. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm so late, Joe. Um, I want to make sure all of these platforms are performing and functioning the way they should. So can you please, please, please tell me if, um, if you're having any problem, any difficulty seeing me. Yesterday was a mess to, from a technological standpoint. And so I just wanna make sure we vibe in today real good. What's up, you pigs? Um, rest in peace to Coolio, huh? We just found that out 10 minutes ago that Coolio passed away at the age of 59. So, phew, wasn't expecting to hear that, okay? But, um, and if you ain't seen it, TMZ reported it. So, you know, whenever TMZ reports something, you be like, oh, it might be for real. All right, peeps, let's cook a little something, all right? Uh, let me grab some pineapple juice because I got a good one for you today. I got a good one. All right. All right, let's do this in a cocktail shaker. I got a few things to add into um, a cocktail shaker. First, I need to put some ice in here because that's one thing I don't have. Um... Placed an order last night. Please tell me these people are lying about not getting your items. They're telling the truth. I've scammed everybody. <laughs> okay. I've scammed. If, girl, why would you order for me if you think I'm going to scam you? All right? Don't order for me. If you think I'm going to scam you, then don't order. People don't support people they think they're real scammers, okay? FYI. Now, into a cocktail shaker, let's add some. This is limoncello, which is a, a lemon liqueur, obviously. All right? Just a little splash. We're just doing splashes tonight. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to take us, but we're doing splashes, okay? This is a splash of... Um, this is a splash of pineapple juice. So, so far, so good, right? I mean, pineapple juice, limoncello, okay? I have some pineapple jarritos, which is a, um, like a Mexican soda. I'm gonna put it in last, okay? Just to float it on top. But in the meantime, we need to add some rum, okay? So I have a little bit of barbon cork, a splash of that. That's a really great Jamaican, I mean, uh, ooh, I'm sorry, Cuba. I mean, Haiti, Jesus. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to drink yet. I'm so sorry, Haiti. Um, I done called it everything but what it's supposed to be called. It's a Haitian rum, okay? And I'm gonna top it off with some uh, Malibu pineapple flavored rum, all right? I'm just making a pineapple daiquiri. That's it. Okay, a little pineapple daiquiri, okay? That's it. Oh, I gotta come up with a code for tonight, don't I? Um, Coolio. Coolio. Use the code Coolio at checkout. Um, and let's see. The code from last night has been deactivated. So don't y'all even try that tonight, all right? But I'm feeling good. So let's do discount code. Um, I'm going to add a discount code. I'm going to add it to a few collections. C-O-O-L-I-O -O -O is the code. Um... Fuck it. 50%. 50%. I'll do it again. 50%. Um, let's do specific collections. This is going to be for aprons, cookbooks, cookware, hoodies, and um, wine glasses and t-shirts. All right. I'll do it tonight. Only while I'm live. 
like I did last night. So if you want anything from the website, shopdariuscooks.com, 50% off, use the code COOLIO at checkout, all right? Now, it has been one hello of a day for me, so I'm gonna pour my beautiful pineapple daiquiri. I'm gonna leave me a little bit of space so I can top it off with my pineapple harito. And now you can bow your head and say a little grace. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, listen. At this time, we are asking all visitors to please... <laughs> We are asking all visitors to please stand, huh? At this time, we really hope that something is said or done that encourages your heart. We are grateful that you have joined with us tonight in service. At this time, we have impact agents. They're coming from the rear of the sanctuary. They're going to hand you an information card, okay? We ask that you take that information card, fill it out, and then put it in the offering basket when you go around for offering. Uh, and then one of our representatives will be in contact with you. Please, ma'am, please, sir, be sure to go to the east vestibule tonight, okay? The west vestibule. What is this mosquito doing up in here? Hold on one second. Where you at? Come here. All right, I'm going to get you. Excuse, I'm sorry. Please, the devil is busy. Please go to the East Vestibule after service. Uh, we have our children's ministry. They are going to the zoo and they have signed up in the West Vestibule this evening. So we would like to have you go to the East Vestibule unless you want to sign up uh, as a chaperone for our annual zoo trip with our kids. At this time, we would like to welcome you to the service. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Tonight's code, okay, is, uh, tonight's code is Coolio, okay, all right, you can use Coolio only while we live, y'all, I'm gonna get in trouble for doing this, but only while we are live, may you use that code, all right, you can get your beautiful new cookbook, Apply Pressure, but with soul, which you can get by going to shopdariuscooks.com and use the code Coolio at checkout to save 50% only while I'm live. I swear to God, I'm disconnecting the code as soon as we get off this air, all right? But we need to cook a few things, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I do not know about you, but I am a sucker Baby, for a turnip and a green. Do you understand me? There is something about turnip greens that really just get me excited. I got to check myself because I love, I like them all. I like mustard. You know I love a collard. You know I love a collard. But I'm going to tell you, ain't nothing like a turn of green. Now they're gonna send me off to the commode. Like nobody's business, okay? But they good. So the people down to the um Kroger, Church of God in Christ, this is what they had. Okay. Um, I normally like to get the ones that's already 
taken care of. I don't like cleaning these sheets. It brings back memories, okay? From when I was growing up. You know, I was a little kid at grandma's house and we have to go over there, pick the beans, you know, the green beans. You have to snap them at, I don't know why we cut them things at both ends and then cut them things in half. I don't know what grandmama was thinking. I don't know, okay? But it brings back memories of sitting on the floor with my cousin picking greens. To this, oh, y'all can't see this board, can y'all? Hold on. Um, I, ma'am and sir, do not pick greens no more. Either they come picked or I'm gonna cut them up with the stems, okay? Now you cut them thin. Now these is um, mustard greens, so these don't take as long as collard greens take. I cook these in 20 minutes in that pressure cooker, all right? I'm gonna put me about two bunches in here. That way I can freeze some for later because Jerome ain't gonna eat all these, okay? So I just got me a, a few little pieces of turnip green. Listen, let me tell you what I'm not gonna listen to y'all. Oh, take the stem out. Take the stem out. I shall not. Okay, I shall not. The stems I paid for. It. Them stems cost money. Why would I take the stem out the collard? I mean, out the turnip green. The stem tastes like everything else, and y'all swear up and down they don't. I don't care about y'all. Okay. Let me tell you what I don't care about. Y'all. Okay? This is a little too much. Maybe if I just do half. I'm going to do half of this birch right here. Okay? The code for tonight is Coolio. C-O-O-L-I-O. -O -O. And you could go to shopdariuscooks.com. See? That's my website. Okay? And you can get whatever you want by using the code. You can get a cookbook, a t-shirt, a wine glass. I have beautiful... Pots. I have the Dutch oven. Do I have any here? Um, oh, yes. Here is the Dutch oven. Where is the lid? Please hold the line. Where you at, lid? Oh, it's back there. Hold on, y'all. I see it. Hold on. I got it. Okay. This is the... This is the lid. This is the new set that's on the way soon. This is the emerald... And gold, okay? So I have the pearl. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? I have the pearl and gold at Shop Darius Cooks right now. Pearl and gold. The crimson and gold is there as well. But this is the emerald and gold. As soon as the skillets go on sale, so will these, okay? Stay tuned, all right? That's a beautiful, it's a Dutch oven, cast iron. Deal with it, all right? Speaking of dealing... The Darius Cook script. If you think I'm gonna put these greens on the stove, you have another thing coming, okay? This is the, the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. 50% off right now, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Coolio at checkout to save, all right? Only while I'm live, I swear to God, I'm taking that cold off as soon as these greens come out of this pressure cooker, okay? Okay, so you wanna wash these real good, cause sometimes it be stuff inside the greens. Y'all, one time, I don't know what to call her. I'm gonna call her my cousin's Grandmother, because that's what she was. Laura Newkirk. She seen me. I, I grew up, you know, with her in my life. I don't think I ever told this story. Maybe on Periscope, I might told this story. I grew up with her in my life, right? And she would always cook for the holidays. She was an okay cook. If it's between you, me, and the gate post. I went over her house one time. She used to make chitlins. I don't eat them. And they had one spoon for the chitlins. It was the same spoon for the dressing and the same spoon for the macaroni and cheese. When I seen that at my 13-year-old self, I said, oh, I'm full. Mm-mm. I don't want none of that. Anyway, it was my aunt's mother-in-law, right? So one time we go over to the house 
And she hadn't seen me in a while. You know, I had gained a little weight. This was back, I probably was probably 21, something like that. She said, damn, you know, old people, damn, Darius, how big you going to get? I said, ma'am, wow. So we was going to play cards, right? Spade. And Miss Newkirk was old, about 70, 80. She old. But she always had a drink in her hand. She, and she used to do her, her stuff neat. She all you know, that. Don't put that mix in my stuff. I want my brown liquor. Miss Newkirk in Damon Courts, all right, on the west side of Chicago. Listen. One day, it was a Thanksgiving holiday. We at the house. And Miss Newkirk going to sit on the floor so we can play cards on the floor. Why? I don't know, child. That thing sat on that floor and read back and lost every piece of balance the Lord gave her, okay? And tipped clean over trying to sit on that pillow on the floor. She would put on the floor, she sat down, she squatted, and then she, ro she rolled over a little bit. Let me tell you what she didn't drop. An ounce of liquor, okay? Mm-mm. Now, Miss Newkirk, I'm talking about an ounce of liquor. She never dropped it. May she rest in peace. I loved her. It's my cousin's grandmama. I don't know what, what that means for me, but she was like a, I guess like a grandmother, kind of, but not really. Because she had them chitlins, and you know. But my grandmama, Pam, you, she liked chit. My grandma, Pam, liked chitlins. And my aunt Cheryl, she passed away. They like chitlins. Me, on the other hand, uh-uh. 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 To the aunt. To the aunt. Don't give me them shits. I don't want them. Don't you put them on my plate. I'm a cuss. <laughs> I'm a cuss. Don't you do it. Okay? All right. I'm going to add um, one of my absolute favorite ingredients. Okay? Now, if you are Muslim, assalamu alaikum, salaikum, salam. Don't eat this. And I, I got a lot of Muslim followers. I love y'all. They call me, um, one girl say, Darius, I'm your Farrakhan sister. I said, okay. Praise God. I mean, praise Allah. Okay. This is pork jowl. It's like bacon. But better. Okay. It's like bacon, but better. It's pork jowl. You can fry it up like bacon, but really, I'm going to tell you where it shines. It shines in a pot of greens, a pot of beans, something like that, okay? It is, I'll tell y'all, ooh, <laughs> this not even enough. I need to put a few more slices of pork jowl in here because I test... I tear this pork jowl apart, okay? Now, this only going to need 20 minutes. These is turnip greens. These is not collard greens. They ain't that tough, okay? Now, to that, I did pick up me a little piece. You know, turnip greens be so healthy at first. And I'm telling you, we put everything in them, okay? I got me a few smoked turkey tails. Ooh, me, yes. I got me a few. Oh, shopdariuscooks.com, y'all. Use the code Coolio at checkout if you want to save 50%. Okay, I got me about four. You know what? It's one left. So I might as well put five. One for the father. One for the son. One for the Holy Ghost. One for Mary. And one for Joseph. Okay, this is all you got to do to start. Okay, this is <laughs> all you got to do to start. <laughs> Look, put your little water here about an inch because you know that these turnip greens is going to release all that juice and all that water in here. Okay, you already know that. Now, you can put this on the stove if you want to. And let it take the two hours it take on the stove or 
Somebody said, turkey tails is the turkey butt. Ew. What was you Lex to last night? Okay, y'all do the most. You won't eat a turkey tail, but that man next to you, you will devour him from top to bottom. Please, save it, all right? It's a smoked turkey tail and it's delicious. Just like what you was munching on last night or laying to right now, all right? Put this on. Do not play with me, okay? And I got this drink in my hand. <laughs> Put this on high pressure, 20 minutes, y'all. It's all you need. It's going to be done and tender. Watch when I tell you. I got to plug it up over here so I'm blowing no fuse. Hold on, y'all. Hold the light, everybody. <clears throat> okay. 20 minutes, what I said, 20 minutes? Thank you. Okay. Now, let's talk about our next item that we're going to cook for this evening. I'm going to grab a skillet. This is my Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, I promise you, 40,000 of them are on the way and will be here. Oh, I don't want to tell you when they're coming. I got the update, all right? I'm telling you, oh, your Thanksgiving finna be good. <laughs> your Black Friday finna be anointed. Okay, let me grab... Um, a few things out the refrigerator. Hold on, y'all. One second. Here I come. I'm right here. Do not fret. I didn't go nowhere. All I went to do is I wanted to grab the green onions out the fridge there, okay? These is really knob onions, but they like green onions. It's gonna work just fine, okay? Go with me, all right? Give those a rinse. And what I want you to do is to slice these up, all right? And it's okay if some of your scallions have seen better days. Because these scallions have seen better days, okay? It's okay. It's cool. It's all right. We're not going to worry about it, all right? I want you to slice up As many scallions as you like, okay? I happen to love a scallion, okay? Personally. But that's just me, all right? Oh, that's shopdariuscooks.com. Thank you. Make sure you use the code Coolio at checkout to save 50%. And do not email me talking about some... There he is. I forgot to use the code. I'm going to conveniently forget to read your email. Okay? I was moving too fast. Slow down, see? Pineapple daiquiri. with a little pineapple haritos. Somebody said, why am I still singing foodie in you? Loves the foodie in me and the foodie in you. Love the foodie in me. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Uh, 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 uh. You're easy. Easy to love. I'm going to sing it with you. Because you're not going to sing by yourself. All right? Okay. I need olive oil into my Darius Cooks everyday skillet. And I'm on like a medium, like a medium high heat. Okay? I'm going to take all these scallions. And I'm going to throw these scallions that I chopped up. 
all of them, I'm going to throw them right into that olive oil. Somebody said Coolio didn't work. Now, sis, I don't know. I don't know. It might be user error. I don't know, okay? It might be user error. Okay, can we talk about rice for Melmax? Yes. Can we discuss arroz? This is a bag of arroz. Normally, I would put the rice in the pressure cooker. It only takes five minutes. But today I'm going to do it on the stove so I can show you, okay? Now, you got to know a little piece of math to do this. It's a very simple, all right? It's one, two, two. It is one part rice. to two parts liquid. Your part could be whatever your part wants to be. It could be a bowl, it could be a cup, it could be a wine glass. It do not matter. Spell Coolio, C-O-O-L-I-O, -O -L -L, the way you type it. Okay, my part, it's going to be two. <laughs> two, two, cup, two cups of rice. Okay. I'm going to add my two cups of rice to my scallions and my olive oil. Okay. Then. I want to mix this around real good because what I'm doing is I'm infusing the rice with the scallion flavor, number one. Number two, I'm toasting the rice, okay, and getting rid of all of the starch in the rice. You could rinse it, all right? I don't have time for that. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pot of rice where every granule wall will be separated and be amazing. Okay? You ready for this? It's so good, okay? You wanna toast this up. This is not the time to be talking about, let me call Keisha and see what Keisha is doing. You're gonna burn your rice. All right, this is not the time to be scrolling Instagram, looking at Walter from the mail room and looking at his pictures, okay? You're gonna burn your rice. This is not the time to be looking at Sheen, trying to see what they got to do. You're gonna burn your rice, okay? Please, ma'am. Please, sir. Don't do that. Okay? Do not be down there talking about some. Let me go see what um. Let me go see what Walter talking about on General Hospital. You're gonna burn your rice and you're gonna be shamed. Alright? Do not get on the phone. Do not try to do R-S-T-L-N-E and try to figure out. Don't do that, all right? FYI. How I know about Shein? I know about a lot of stuff, okay? I am a wealth of knowledge. Don't play with me. Do not play around. You're going to burn your rice. Okay? Now, we're going to cook this rice on this stove until it's light skin. Okay? You do not want, let me tell you what you don't want. You do not want dark skin rice. Okay? Dark skin, 
is for me, okay? Light skin is for rice. No, I'm not, I'm, this is a little drink, this ain't nothing. They say I'm filling my drink. Alcohol don't bother me. I don't even like alcohol. I'm good. Don't I look amazing? I know. Okay, so we're gonna cook this a little bit. Okay. Until it's light skin. Okay, please make sure you don't make this dark skin because this would be a shame to spend all this good. You know, rice is expensive too. Rice, rice and rice when I was growing up. I was born December 29th, 1981. Rice, oh, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Coolio at checkout, all right? Uh, rice and rice used to cost 89 cents. The rice at Publix, $7.99. Bitch, I want to go create my own rice farm, okay? It is highway robbery that them heifers at Publix charge you $7.99 for basmati rice. I swear to God, if I knew how to take that rice and plant that rice on Peachtree, all right, I would go out there and plant me some rice and we can have rice for everybody. For $4.99 a pound, not $7.99. Alright. Now, I don't know how many people watching me tonight read their Bible. Okay? I just don't know if you are a Bible reader. But the Bible is true. The Bible says whatever is in the water gets absorbed into the rice. Therefore, and listen, whenever you see therefore in the Bible, you have to know what it is there for. Huh? If there is no flavor in the water, there will be no flavor in the rice. Huh? That's in the Bible. Paul wrote that. Now, you could just take a minute and add chicken broth to there. I forgot to throw mine out. It's freezing in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna add me a little chicken bouillon right to my um, skillet, see? Okay. And then I already measured out my water. One to two. So I use two cups of rice. How many cups of water am I gonna use? Four. Oh yeah, that Paul wrote that. Four. You know Paul. He was he was a he was killing the he was persecuting the Christians, and then he was he got up one morning, on his way to town on a road called Damascus. Huh. Thank you. Next thing you know, he done wrote two thirds. Of the New Testament. Yes. All right. You come over here, you learn how to cook and have Bible study at the same time. Okay. Now, I know some of y'all struggle with making white rice. I know you struggle and uh, you don't have to struggle. Okay. The perfect pot. Uh, can I road map it for you? Can I roll map it for you? All right. You toast the rice first. Then you add your flavoring. Stock, bouillon, whatever. The ratios are always one to two. One to two. One part rice, two parts liquid. Your part could be whatever your part want to be. A cup, two cups, a bowl, a mug. I don't give a shit. All right? Now, what you do is you let that cook. 
until all of the water cooks out. You put a lid on, you let it sit for 10 minutes, perfect rice, every single time. Or oh, I'm gonna help you if you listen. Huh? What I'm gonna do? Help you if you listen. Now, I don't know what happened to y'all, okay? Cook on low. Oh, I got it on medium high. See, it's right here. Look over there. You see that flame? You do that until it cook out, the water cook out. Once the water cooks out, then you good to go, okay? You put your lid on and let that do its thing, okay? Now, the barbering court is talking to me. It's saying, how you doing? And I'm saying, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. What I was going to say was this. I don't know what happened to some of y'all, okay? I don't know what happened, all right? You started making six figures. And you got bourgeois, all right? You used to eat pork chops all the time growing up. And as the song says, something happened along the way. And yesterday was all we had. You start making your little six figures and you say, oh, I don't eat pork anymore. Well, hand me yours. I eat it. Hand me yours. I'm going to eat it. Flesh me only, though. I ain't going too deep now. Let's, let's just be sure about that. Okay. Now, these are pork chops. These are loin pork chops. Find you something with a bone in it. Okay. You see this? This is called a bone with a ring of fat. You already know where we finna go with this. If you don't, get your little selves ready. Can you get, please give a shout out to Ron Bo. We love you. Hey, Ron Bo off of YouTube. I love you too. Hey, Ron. Praise the Lord. Somebody said on Facebook, boo, you nice as I don't know what right now. It don't, alcohol don't bother me. These are bone in. Hold on, I got this thing stuck in the sink. These are bone in pork chops. Okay, you know you like this one. The one that puff up when you fry it with that little ring of fat around. Baby, let me tell you something. I could not wait. Until we had pork chop night at the house. Grandmama used to make fried pork chops. She used to make some other pork chops. Somebody said, pork give me a headache. Take an aspirin. <laughs> Take an aspirin. Okay. That was your ding. Let me see. I called out some names. Hold on one second. Let me see who buying something off my site. ShopDariusCooks.com. Oh, Lord. Y'all tearing this site up. Let me see. Uh, how you look at orders. This is how you look at it. All orders. Okay. Tiffany Wooper. Lenora Foster. D. James. Devana Melton. Irma Nazario. Hola, como estas? Uh, Shartika Davis, Keisha Davis, Artrice, Valerie, Victoria Bass, Katanya, I can't pronounce your last name, May Scruggs, Felicia Daz, Pamela Berkeley, Tavera Brown. Y'all love me. Who are y'all? 
Aisha Royal, Sheila Isaacs, Yvette Taylor, Adrian Willis, Lisa Watkins, Patricia Bradley, Laquanda Williams, Shanae Spivy, Leticia Clark, Dewana, I can't pronounce your last name, sis. Crystal Taylor, Kayla Brooks. I see y'all. Okay, I see you. Thank you. Now, these are pork chops. These have to be seasoned with the seasoning of the Holy Ghost. Let me grab some seasoning, y'all. Hold the line one second, all right? Let me grab me some, um, some seasonings. I need some of this. I definitely need some of this. I definitely need some of this. Def oh no, I don't need this. I need some of 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 this. Uh, and I got some of this already. And a little piece of this. Hi, my name is Darius. And I'm seasoning pork chops. How are you doing? If you're just joining us, please know that I am not intoxicated by any means. I'm having pineapple daiquiris and I'm cooking a little something. If you miss out so far, you didn't miss out on much. We put our turnip greens on with 20 minutes is all you need. All right, I'm gonna show y'all this. Y'all gonna be tripping when I show. You gonna be like, oh my God, that's for real? For real, okay? Turnip greens with pork jowl and lots of smoked turkey, okay? Uh, and then behind me, I'm toasting off my rice with scallion and chicken bouillon. In this bowl, I'm gonna season up my pork chops. I put a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of pepper, okay? This is smoked paprika. Okay? It smells amazing, okay? It smells outstanding, okay? So that's smoked paprika. Hold on, y'all. Let me check this pressure cooker. Oh, okay, it's cooking. Okay, for a little bit of personality, a little bit of flavor, a little pinch of red pepper flakes. It doesn't make it spicy. It just says, how you doing? And we be like, <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Now, ground fennel, I don't care if I use it a lot, I'm using it tonight as well, okay? This is a little piece of onion powder, all right? You need that in your stuff, okay? If you're gonna use onion powder, we're gonna use its cousin, garlic powder, yes, thank you, hi. ShopDariusCooks.com. Whew. The code. <laughs> child. The code is. um. What's the code, child? Coolio. C-O-O-L-I-O. -O -O. Use the code at checkout. 50% only while I'm live. I, I, I swear to God. The moment I hit end on these broadcasts, that code is done. I, I promise you, I'm not lying, okay? This is a little bit of non-salted Cajun seasoning, okay? And where's TikTok? What camera is TikTok? Okay, Face, uh, Instagram, hold on one second. Facebook, you hold on one second. YouTube, you hold on one second. TikTok, come here. 
Let me tell you something. I see your little funk ass comments, okay? Time by Italian seasoning and Herbs de Provence is not the same thing. The only difference is a little piece of lavender which you can barely taste, all right? So please understand that Italian seasoning and Herbs de Provence, them shits, is about the same thing. I'm tired of reading your comments, all right? Y'all let the kitchen needs to come on here and deter y'all. I'm tired of your comments, all right? Say it again, I'm going to block you. Hey, everybody else, praise the Lord. Okay, a little piece of Herbs de Provence or... Italian seasoning, okay? Get on my nerves. Play with me, okay? Now look. Once you start, once you can hear the crackling of the pan, that means that your liquid has now cooked out, okay? So it's gonna start crackling. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna block all of y'all, but some of y'all know who you are on TikTok. Some of you young people on TikTok. It's 925 people watching me on TikTok. TikTok, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna just go on and say it. This is not the pan. <laughs> this is not the pan. I mean, the lid. <laughs> this is not the lid that came with that pan. Okay, however, comma, this is the lid I'm gonna use. Okay, this is the one came with my um, set. Okay, and this is the one I'm gonna use tonight. So deal with it. All right. Okay, I'm going to cut the heat off. See, my rice, my liquid is cooked out. I'm going to cut the heat off. I'm going to put this lid on. Put that on the back stove. And let that sit till I'm ready for it. All right. Yes, the code is Coolio. Go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Coolio. For 50% off only while I'm live. Okay? Now, speaking of live, <laughs> I got me a little piece of buttermilk from somebody's farm. This came from the Mayfield Dairy Farms Church of God in Christ. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly, 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 Lord. Put you a little buttermilk in here. Okay? From somebody's farm. All right? Then, I got me a couple of a gloves because it's going to get messy up in here. Okay? It's gonna get messy. Okay. What you wanna do is really massage in that buttermilk and all those seasonings. See, look at this here. See what I'm saying? You wanna make sure you get seasoning on every piece of this buttermilk. That buttermilk is gonna tenderize and it is a vehicle, it is a Tesla to ensure, yes, you can do the same thing with chicken, sis. Yes, chicken, pork chops, Salisbury steak, shrimp, turkey chops, lobster. I'm just showing you a template. Do what you want to do with it, all right? All right. Let me find me some flour, all-purpose flour, okay? Let's find it. I'm going to put this to the side for one second. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna take this glove off because I got some more over here. All right, let me get another bowl. Okay. And now in this bowl, we're going to add in some all-purpose flour. Yes, some flour. What is it called? Flour. Now this flour is by IGA. It was on sale. <laughs> flour is flour is flour. I wish the hell I would pay $9 for a bag of flour, all right? You gotta come kill me, all right? Put me a little piece of Cajun seasoning in here. And if you know like I know, cover your nose. Okay? And then, a little piece of cornstarch, okay? So we're going one to two. Two parts flour. <coughs> one part cornstarch. <coughs> if you ain't choking, you ain't... mean like that you know what I meant quit playing with me it just came out wrong okay shop dariuscooks.com the code is um coolio c o o <coughs> l i o coolio okay and you can save 50% on cookbooks pressure cookers air fryers just while we're live, okay? Now, obedience to the great head of the pig. We'll come this evening by the declaration of your faith, baptizing yet another pork chop snatched out of the hand of the enemy and into the kingdom of God. We baptize you in the name of the Father. We baptize you in the name of the Son. And we baptize you in the name of the Holy Ghost. You want to baptize every poor chop good. Okay. All right. Sin has left a crimson stain. Okay. This is the poor chops in the buttermilk. All right. You have to baptize them. Good. Please. Thank you. All right. And then get them in there real good with that cornstarch and that seasoning and that buttermilk. Oh, oh, I'm talking about get in there and get it good. I'm talking about get the flour all over <coughs> every crevice. Okay. That's what you got to do. Ain't nothing like a fried pork. I don't give a shit if you're Muslim or not. Ain't nothing like a fried pork chop. Nothing like it. All right? Now, I got some grease back here. You didn't even know I was preheating no oil, did you? Uh-huh. I got my deep fryer on, and I got my oil preheated. I'm going to go ahead and put my pork chops in the deep fryer. Y'all hold on, okay? Oh, yes. Fry, son, fry. Huh? <coughs> it's that Cajun seasoning. It ain't got to me. All right? Now, don't throw this away. This got some Holy Ghost too, okay? Do not throw that flower. That flower got the Holy and the Ghost. ShopDariusCooks.com is the code. I mean, is the website, y'all. Somebody put it in the comments, okay? The code is whatever the code is. I forgot shit. All right, I'm gonna give me a little skillet on. 
this skillet right here, okay? Medium, low-ish heat. Okay? And I got me an onion over here. Okay? This is a Vidalia onion. But it was on, <laughs> it was on sale. All right? <laughs> what kind of onion do you use? The kind that is on sale. Now, a lot of y'all have problems making gravy and i don't do not know why so i'm gonna show you how i make it so you can see all right and see just how easy it is all right so i got me an onion slice and uh, i'm gonna slice me a little piece of this bell pepper as well it's a green bell pepper because that's what grandma used to use Grandma didn't use no red bell pepper. What is that? Mm-mm. Okay. This is a green. We're going to cut it in slices. Okay. Thin slices at that. Okay. Thin slices on the bell pepper. Okay. Put you a little oil down to your pain, all right? A little oil, I got me some olive oil, but put whatever you wanna put. Vegetable, canola, corn, it don't matter. And now, I'ma add, I better save a little bit of this onion. This much, okay. I'ma add this onion, and I'ma add these bell peppers to this hot oil. Okay, because I want to saute these, okay, and really get these ready for my gravy, okay, now, I'm going to put me a little tank of salt, okay, a little tank of salt, and a little taint of pepper. Okay. And we're going to let them onions fry up real good. Okay. The code is shopdariuscooks.com. No, that's not the code. That's the website. The website is shopdariuscooks.com. And the code, all right, is Coolio, C-O-O-L-I-O, -O -O, all right, at checkout. Okay, put your hand on your hip like grandmama did. And you wanna get in here and stir up real good Okay, your onion and your bell pepper. All right, that's what she would do. Blame her, not me. <laughs> okay, with the rest of this little onion, I'm gonna dice it up real good. Okay. I'll take the rest of this bell pepper and use it on a dice, okay? So I'm dicing onion. And bell pepper. The one thing black people are gonna do is onion and bell pepper you to death. <laughs> to death, won't we? It's all right, deal with it. 
Okay, now in my other um, burner, I'm going to use my Darius Cooks Dutch oven. This is the emerald and gold. I don't have it on the website yet. It'll be on there soon, all right? I'm going to heat this skillet up, I mean this pan up. All right? Baby, if we ain't cooking, I don't know what we're doing. All right? Put you some olive oil in that particular pan over here. All right. And let's start working and sweating out um, these. All right. This is onion and bell pepper. Thank you. Okay. Let me check on my pork chops. Make sure my pork chops is doing good. Put your hand on your hip. Ooh, yes, God. Look, they ain't done yet. But I want you to see what we're working with. They ain't done. But I want you to see where we're going, huh? I want you to see where we're going. They ain't done yet. I want you to see where we're going, all right? Okay, now, to the onion and the bell pepper, we're going to be adding Some fresh corn off the cob. Okay. To the other pan with the onion. Oh, let me let me make sure my stuff ain't burning. Hold on, y'all. Hold the line. Okay, we good. Okay, look, let's talk about gravy for a second, all right? I'm gonna put a little bit more oil into this pan with the onions and the bell peppers, okay? Now, remember I told you, don't get rid of this flour. Because we're gonna use this flour to make the gravy, all right? So we're gonna put some flour, sprinkle some flour in and let the flour toast up real good, okay, with the onion and the bell pepper. Now, speaking of the Bible, the Bible says the darker the root, the better the flavor, all right? So you're going to get in here and you're going to stir that flour in with the onion and the bell pepper, all right? Good, 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 good. We're going places. Okay. Now, before I add in my corn, I already told you, I got my pork jowl. Listen, we might as well use that as a flavor base with the corn, yes? So I'm going to dice up a couple of slices of pork jowl. This could be smoked turkey if you want it to be. I don't. All right. Or this could be bacon. It could be beef bacon. Okay. That's my turnip greens. Let me know they're ready. All right. And the great thing about that Darius Cook's pressure cooker is that it's going to slow release that steam and stay warm until you're ready for it. All right. So I ain't got to rush. I'm good. All right. Let me throw my pork jowl into my pan. See? All right. I'm going to cut my heat up. All right. And I'm going to really get 
them onions and the bell pepper and the pork jowl. I'm gonna get it going good, all right? Now, let's take these pork chops out because I don't need to cook my pork chops all the way through. I just wanna cook them halfway, all right? But let's get these bad boys. Let me show you what these pork chops are looking like. Okay. I'll go camera to camera. This is you, Instagram. All right. This is you, Facebook. Okay. This is you, TikTok, and this is you, YouTube. Take a screenshot if you want to. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, my four shots go on the side, all right, and Let's work out my gravy real fast, okay? All right, you don't want to, um, you don't want to burn your roux, all right? Your roux, you want to get it nice, dark skin, all right? Like me, yes? Thank you. A nice dark skin roux is all you need, all right? I'm getting some water. All right, and I'm going to stir this again to see where we are. Let me see if I can show you. Let me get a towel so y'all can see what this looks like. Okay, because it's not quite ready yet, but we're definitely getting there. See, you're developing color on your roux while you're frying up your onions and your bell pepper. You see that? All right, we're just developing a little bit of flavor on here, okay? So we keep the pan moving, onion, bell pepper. You put celery in here if you want to, garlic if you want to. I ain't got no more, all right? And then in a minute, we can add in the water and make the gravy. But before we make the gravy, can we talk about sauteing this skillet corn real fast, all right? Now, I got fresh corn off the cob. I'm just gonna cut it off. Y'all, please, they make fresh corn all year round now, okay? You can go to Walmart and get fresh corn. Quit buying canned corn and frozen corn and just get you some fresh corn. It is nothing like fresh corn cut straight off the cob. Ain't nothing like it, all right? And it don't take that long to work out, okay? All right, I got four ears of fresh corn. White corn, yellow corn, it don't matter. Just get it off the cob. All right, and we're gonna put this fresh corn right into this bowl. Thank y'all. All right, and then I got onion, bell pepper, and pork jowl working out behind me. I'm gonna add this fresh corn right to that pan, all right? All right, let me add a little bit of water to my corn and my pork jowl and all that good stuff. All right, and let that cook up. Now, speaking of adding water, this is perfect, all right? My gravy is dark skin. 
It's not burnt. Let me add in some water. Hold on. Christian just texted me. What'd she say? She said, TikTok is frozen. It looked fine to me. All right, here we go. Water. Okay. And then I'm just going to stir this in. Let me move this to the board so y'all can see this. Because y'all be having a hell of a time making some gravy. Okay. Y'all be having a hell of a time. Oh, maybe TikTok is frozen. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's frozen. Okay, let me restart TikTok, y'all. Hold on one second. TikTok, here I come. Um, This button. Oh, child, it is frozen. Hold on one second. Ooh. Ooh. Go live. Live. Continue. All right, I done got TikTok back on. Okay, so all I did so far... Everybody want to text me tonight. Okay. All I did was saute onion and bell pepper. Yes, that's it. Oh, TikTok is really cutting up. Hold on. It won't even load. Why don't I do this from my phone? Why don't I put TikTok on, on my phone? Huh? I don't know what's going on. You're live on another device. Okay, end that live and then go live. Okay. It did look fine to me at first. I don't know, child. I can't tell you what's going on. You know, I don't make these apps. Okay. What I did with this water, that's it. Let's season this with some chicken bouillon. Where I put it? Right here. Okay. I'm going to season this with a little chicken bouillon like that. Okay. I'm also going to put me, because see, this is the secret right here, is a little beef bouillon as well. See that? You put chicken bouillon and beef bouillon in there. Okay? Then we're going to put a little piece of onion powder, a little piece of garlic powder, And a little piece of black pepper. See that? That's gravy 101. Okay? That's gravy 101. And as this comes to a boil, this will begin to thicken. But not until we take these fried pork chops and nestle them, okay, into the gravy. Because we're going to smother the shit out of these, okay? Especially this one. This is the one I want. You're going to nestle that right back into the gravy, see? Then we're going to take this and put this on the stove, see? And let that simmer on the stove. Yes. Thank you. Don't forget... You won't hit the ding no more because I'm live on my other cell phone. I don't know what's going on with TikTok and these cell phones. I can't explain it, but you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. Be sure to use the code um, Coolio. May he rest in peace. At checkout to save 50%. Only while we live, okay? Okay, can we talk about our corn real fast? Because we have to season this too. Okay, some of y'all be making bland corn and it really upsets me and my homegirls, okay? So, this is the pork jowl, the onion, and the bell pepper, and the fresh corn. That's it, all right? We're going to season this with a little pinch of chicken bouillon, okay? And then I have some garlic powder. And a swig of Herbs de Provence. 
all right? And then somewhere around here, um, I had me a little sugar. I had me a little sugar somewhere around here. I got it. It's corn, all right? It's supposed to have a little sweetness to it. I don't want to hear your mouth. What he doing? Why he put sugar in corn? Because grandma did the same thing, okay? Put you a little sugar in here. Maybe a touch more, all right? And I'm going to tell you one thing I've never seen. The righteous forsaken. Or his seed begging bread. All right? A little piece of butter is all you need in your corn, okay? You know corn and butter go together. Like, um... Love and marriage, okay? So a little skillet corn cooked in the Darius Cook's Dutch oven. You can get the pearl and gold or the crimson and gold at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? This is gonna go on low heat and that's going to simmer until we are ready for it. Speaking of simmer, thank you. It has been 20 minutes and my turnip greens are ready. This is the Darius Cook pressure cooker, okay? Not three hours, not two hours. It literally took 20 minutes to make the most delicious pot of turnip greens you have ever had in your entire life with pork jowl. Now, if you are not doing the pork, it's okay. Okay? You could do um, turkey with this. I put pork and turkey in because I'm fat, all right? But you could do whatever you want to do. ShopDariusCooks.com. This can be yours for 50% off. Use the code Coolio at checkout, okay? Thank you. Let me check on my pork chops, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My pork chop support chopping. All right. If you ever want your uh, chops to be a little thicker, let it cook down. But here's a little shortcut. A little cornstarch. Oh, this, this smells so good in front of me. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> baby. baby. Baby, this thing smells so good in front of me. All right, a little tinge of water. And I'm gonna put me a little slurry in my gravy just to help speed it up a little bit, all right? Beautiful. That's it right there. Beautiful. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my uh, gravy on simmer, okay? Uh, it's ready. All right. Darius Cook's pressure cooker will not let you release it until the steam has been released. Thank you. And I told you this would take 20 minutes from start to finish. I want you to see that I can't even pick up the turkey without it falling apart. Okay. Okay. These are the turkey tails that were smoked, y'all, 20 minutes ago, okay? This is the pork jowl that I can't even pick up because it is now 
super tender. 20 minutes is all it took for these turnip greens to come out looking like this, okay? Look at that. Can we season? Yes, we can. All right. Can we season? Oh, yes. We need some oil, okay? The pork jowl and the smoked turkey is not fatty enough to give us the oil feel that we need to feel with this, okay? Now we're gonna, I season at the end, all right? So I can control my seasoning. A little bit of chicken bouillon again, okay? Little taint of garlic powder. Little taint of onion powder. Little taint of Cajun seasoning, non-salted. All right. Little taint of red pepper flakes. I don't care what y'all say. Little taint of sugar, all right? Give that a mix, and you now have one of the best pots of turnip greens you will ever have in your life, and they were done in 20 minutes. I feel like somebody said it was time to eat. Because it is. Remember that pot of rice we made? We need that. Now, for those of you who doubted that the pot of rice would come out to be amazing, let me show you what I'm talking about. It perfect every single time you make this rice it all right it comes out amazing i want you to see how every granule of rice is fluffy cooked through not mushy and delicious okay i want you to see this this is how you make the absolute perfect pot of white rice. Mmm, I know it's good. With that chicken bouillon, woo-wee! Okay, let's make a plate, y'all. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I gotta grab me, child, a spoon, first of all. Let me get a spoon, all right? Okay, put me a little rice on the bottom over here, see? A little tanch, just like that, okay? Then, let's get a little tanch of pork chop. Can we do that? I think we can. Smothered pork chop with Oh, with, oh, this spoon ain't gonna work. Oh. With the gravy, okay? Smother pork chop with the gravy. On top, okay? Where's that one I wanted? Let me see, let me find it. Here it go, right here. This is the one I need right here. Thank you for coming. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Put a little gravy on my rice, please. Thank you. Okay. Now, did somebody say skillet fried corn? I don't know. Where my other towel go, child? Oh, I got it. I don't know. 
if you know this or not. But we're gonna put a little piece of this fried corn right on my plate. Thank you. Hi. Come on, corn. Come on over. Let me say hey to you too with the pork jowl. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's put this to the side. And let me give me a little tanch of turnip green with smoked turkey and beautiful pork jowl. All right, y'all, give me a second. Let me grab some over here. So I got more pork jowl than anything. You can use bacon if you want to. It's up to you. It's up to you. You can use bacon if you want to. I'm gonna just drain out a little bit of this juice. All right, and then put my turnip greens on my plate with my smoked turkey. Oh. Mm. And my pork jowl. Huh? I'm going to go camera to camera so y'all can see what I'm working with. All right? Don't forget, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com, use the code Coolio at checkout, and you can save 50% for the next 10 minutes, because the, the code is fin to be deactivated, all right? Here you go, look at that. Mm -hmm. This is um, Instagram, all right, Instagram. This is, um, who is this? Facebook, okay, Facebook. Y'all see that? Pork chops, corn, turn of greens, a little piece of rice. This is um, TikTok, praise the Lord, TikTok. And this is YouTube. YouTube, I love y'all. Special place in my heart for y'all, okay? Now, this the part of the service only I can play a part in. Uh, let me cut off me a little slice of this pork chop. You can go to shopdariuscooks.com. That's the website, shopdariuscooks.com. The code is uh, Coolio. You can save 50% at checkout. Please bow your head and say grace. Grace, that's enough. Mm. Baby. 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 Mm. Baby. 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 If this thing ain't seasoned to the high heavens, if this thing ain't see who mm. who mm. that's the pork chop the pork chop with the rice okay mm. look at that Okay, the pork chop with the right. Mm. 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 Okay, let me try to turn up greens with the pork jowl, okay, and the smoked turkey. 20 minutes, people. 20 minutes, okay? The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Y'all want some? Here, open up. Open up. Here you go, YouTube. TikTok, you want some? Here you go. Facebook, you want some? Here you go. Instagram, you want some? Here you go. Mm. I could literally eat turnip greens like this every day, all day. Literally, 
Uh, I don't know. Okay. So good. The fried corn with the bell pepper, the pork jowl. Let's see. You see that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let me see. Mm. 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 It's so good, y'all. Mm. Okay, now listen. Mm. I got too excited. Oh my god. Mm. I got too excited. Okay, now. You have about five minutes left on the code Coolio that's going to give you 50% um, off at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Use the code Coolio. Recipes like this, you know exactly where to find them. On the website, DariusCooks.tv. Hi to all the haters. You wish you could be me. Uh-huh. There's two things I want to tell you. As I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Boston. I'll see you in the morning. Cincinnati, I'll see you next week. Indianapolis, I'll see you in two weeks. Louisville, I'll see you in three. All right? Bye, y'all. So good. Oh, my God.